the Caribbean be thinking about leveraging its literary talents to boost its economy? The director of the NGC, Bocas Lit Fest, Marina Salandi Brown, says Trinidad and Tobago has been punching above its weight in this area and publishing brings millions of dollars to other economies. Perhaps, she says, the diversification thrust can be found in books. Soini Gray reports. Caribbean writers have been winning international attention in literary circles for several years. V.S. Naipaul, Derek Walcott and Earl Loveless are revered members of the Old Guard. But new writers from the region are also finding their books in the libraries of fans across the globe. Marlon James, Claudia Rankin, Fanny Capaldeo and Kai Miller to name a few. In fact, BBC Radio 4 just produced a three-part special on Caribbean literature called Writing a New Caribbean. Hosted by Alicia Bartels, it looked at the new wave of Caribbean writing that's taking the world by storm. Books are a very lucrative industry, publishing is a lucrative industry, um, and also we started because um, literature is one of the things that we can do in the Caribbean. At the moment we're producing some of the best uh, writers, best poets, uh, the winning prizes everywhere. This is something we can leverage. That's Marina Salandi Brown, the director of the annual Bocas Lit Fest, which the publishing giant Penguin named as one of the 20 best literary festivals in the world. Bocas works because Caribbean writers are creating the stories the world wants to read. What we create here didn't exist before. We create a, a forum where writers of all continents who've got a Caribbean background or who have an interest in the Caribbean or in just good literature can actually come and be together. And because it's informal and because it's free and people come for like four or five days, they network, they get together, they exchange ideas. It's a place where you can do business, you can find an agent, you can meet a publisher. This year, the festival runs from the 26th of April to the 30th. It will feature talks, writing workshops, and Prime Minister Dr. Keith Rowley reading from his autobiography. But perhaps it's also a showcase of the potential of a Caribbean publishing industry. Book publishing is up there, a huge uh, source of income in the entertainment industry. Actually, it's bigger than some areas of entertainment. So, you know, we're talking about megabucks, we're talking about billions of dollars of turnover. But we just haven't cottoned on to it yet, and we're, we're trying to be in the vanguard of that. Trinidad and Tobago has demonstrated it has the capacity to leverage its energy resources for its own development. Perhaps the time has come for it to lead the Caribbean in developing a Caribbean publishing output that can compete with the world leaders in the field. Sonny Gray, C News.